Yo, what up, guys? Troublemaker here. I just went to the Twisted VIP meet and greet 2016 at Rock Pile West. Alright, and um, it was a dream come true. Like, holy crap, I kept it together. Uh, they they signed everything that I brought though. Like I was very thrilled, very happy. Um, the so the meet and greet included this uh, laminated VIP pass, and then on top of that, you know, I got this uh, solo. The next station is Jane. Um, Jane Station. So uh, the single, uh, yeah, the single track called Psychomania. Uh, it's produced by Seven, written by Twisted, recorded at the Dojo, and mixed and mastered by Fritz the Cat, uh, Yan Koski. Last the back of that. Also, the disc, I feel like the disc is kind of hollow when I, uh, when I looked at it. Let me see if I can pull it out properly. Yeah, like, you see that? Like, this is, I... To me, I'm, looked, I'm looking at it and I feel like it's like kind of hollow and just um, this imagery right here though, this is pretty sick, you know. Um, I have so much stuff that pretty much that uh, they signed. Uh, pretty much like for Boondocks, for Boondocks I brought all of his albums and two t-shirts and this hat and he signed it and um, I was telling him the story about when uh, when my first ever time going to a psychopathic show, I saw him and Blaze, um, and that was my first ever Juggalo show, and that was when they invaded the Annex Rec Room up in Toronto, and um, it was, you know, it was just uh, like so. I reminded him about that, then I reminded him that he put he took off his hat and he put it on DJ Danzel's head, and, you know, and um, you know, so me and now me and DJ Danzel Bernie, both have a like, Boondocks Bernie hat. Station. Um, I'm just like, I'm fanboying on the inside, like, I'm keeping it together here. I'm not even, you know, honestly, like, this meant the world to me. I'm so happy I got to meet them. Like, people that know me know this. I listen to them all the time. Like, their music means a lot, and I'm very happy I was able to, uh, finally, finally meet them. It was a dream come true, you know, um... Basically, for, for Twisted, I brought them um, several CDs. I bought them Abominations, Most Tasteless, uh, DJ Clay's Book of the Wicked 2. Um, I bought them A New Nightmare. Um, and I think on A New Nightmare, uh, yeah, I think on A New Nightmare, um, one of them signed it twice because, uh, because the color kind of faded over it. If I can find it, a second here. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Okay. A new nightmare. I got it signed. And uh, the next station is Pine Park. Pine yeah, Park yeah. Station. Jamie had to sign it twice because the 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 like, yeah the silver I think was wearing out, so he signed it twice for me. Um, it's really neat how they do this meet and greet process. It's just like, like you being a fan, you're like, I have, I have all this stuff, you know, to get signed. I, I don't exactly know how it's gonna work out. Um, and basically, so the process that happened here was like, you go and then they meet you, they say what up, give you daps, you know, and then um, pretty much uh, if you have stuff to get signed, they're like, all right, bring it out, show us what you got, and. Um, so I took, I organized it, so I took out all the Twisted stuff I put on the table, and um, I even got a Dark Lotus record that I brought, Black Rain. I put it on the table, and like, they, they've been doing this for years, right? So they pretty much, like, they take one, they open it, they sign it, they pass it to each other, they sign it, they close it, and then they stack it on the side in a neat pile. And, um, and then when they're done all the signing, they take your phone, and they take a picture for you. Yeah, and um, like the that was that was dope. Heel, heel and uh, yeah, so and then pretty much like for Twisted, I had I had a bunch of CDs. Um, for Lex the Hexmaster, I had um, I had his CD, and then I got him to sign my boy uh, Shadow Kid's ticket because Shadow Kid wasn't able to make it out to the show, which is actually tomorrow. And then um, 
for uh, Boondocks, I had all of his CDs and a couple of T-shirts. They're a couple of old school psychopathic T-shirts. Like so, one he's holding like a pitchfork and like a blade, like a like a sickle almost, and the other one he's holding a chainsaw. And then um, for Blazy Dead Homie, I uh, I had gang rags, like the original gang rags. I had um, oh jeez, looking right now, but. Uh, I had him sign the Sosic Social Club, uh, Dead Friends Don't Tell album, basically because, like, my first ever Juggalo show, I saw, I saw Boondocks and Blaze invade the Annex Rec Room, and that same day is when I saw Sosic Social Club perform, so it's more of a sentimental thing, I know it's kind of weird, but I asked him to do it and he did it, and at the beginning of the video, as you can see, I got Boondocks to sign the top of this hat, this straw hat. So it just, it meant the world, man. And I got pictures with all of them. And uh, I told them that um, I'm actually going to be out the next day in Hamilton, you know, and I'm going to see their show then. Uh, they were surprised that I wasn't staying for that one. Um, you know, but I did what I wanted to do. I went and got the autographs. We got the autographs for uh, Villain as well. And, and the pictures. And uh, for Villain, it was cool because he brought this like Michael Myers Halloween collection and uh, they all signed it. So um, honestly, guys, I've spoken enough. I had a good time. Sign up for VIP. It's dope. Whoop, whoop.